turn off. So just go look around. You just we gotta just go look around. I'm gonna talk to the lady and do this right. stuff. But can you show these? What? Can you show these? Well, Dustin can do it for you. Is that or I can do it after I'm done? Hello. Hello. How are you? Two more goodies. <laughs> hey, it's going on. This should be easy to remember now. Huh? Yeah, I know. This is one of the ones. It's a good job. Here you go, that's the one. Maybe I'll have to go in the back. Do a all these. If you look, if you're on the other side.
So I hope you enjoyed uh, my game hunting on my stealth camera, um, my uh, shades that I got. Um, learning how to use them, I know I gotta move really slowly right now with those because they're very shaky. You're gonna see some spots in it that's uh, how they shake. How they shake a lot. Um, I'll upgrade them at some point, uh, but it's kind of what I got now. But let's go ahead and uh, go through the findings I got uh, at Flashback Games, of course, because that's the video you saw. And I also got some stuff after the fact, which I want to show you guys real fast. Uh, first off, we got the Nintendo DSi XL Mario 25th Anniversary Edition. Uh, it is complete. Let's see, we've got the game in it. Got this for a really good deal. I already have it, but, you know, I could use this for trade fodder. Um, or just hold on to it, you know. I mean, somebody out there, somebody I know probably want this, so I'll probably end up trading it. But I didn't want to pass it by for the price, so. Next, uh, one of my buddies, actually, uh, he posted this on Facebook, and I saw it. And one of my other friends, I believe it was, might have been uh, Retro Remix Nation, he was telling him to contact me, because he knew I'd probably be interested in buying it. And of course I was. Um, this is the... Toys R Us exclusive Game Boy Advance SP, the one that comes with Super Mario Brothers 3, which is Super uh, Super Mario Advance 4. Um, this is complete, it has the bag, booklets, all that good stuff. So that was really cool to get. Some other things here real quick, when I was down there, my brother, he's kind of like the only guy you kind of see walking around the video talking to me. Um, he gave me a couple games when I was there. Uh, we got Miss Pac-Man. He said he's got the box for that, and he was going to find it and give it to me, so that's cool. He gave me a copy of Mario is Missing for the Super Nintendo. And last but not least, he gave me Super Mario Kart for the Super Nintendo. Now, I told him, I, I, I mentioned I wanted this because it was a label upgrade from what I actually have. And I told him I'd, I'd trade him and give him something else, you know, but he just said take it, so... I'm still probably going to get another Mario Kart just because I know he's going to want to play that. It's Mario Kart. Um, next, uh, this is something I got on eBay. Just received it today. It's Clock Tower for the Super Nintendo. This is a reproduction cartridge. Uh, unfortunately, this game was never produced here in America. Um, there is the Japanese and the PAL edition, I believe. Um, so we never got to actually play it here uh, until you know this and people played on the Japanese systems and whatnot, the Super Famicom. But uh, I'm very happy to get this. Um, I'm going to play this as soon as I get the chance. Uh, maybe I'll do a Let's Play on it. I don't know. Um, I do have a, uh, the equipment for it. It's just coming up with the time to do it, set it up, because I've never used it before. So I don't want to, it's going to take some time to kind of work it out and learn how to use it. Um, so hopefully soon we'll do that. And if you guys think of any games you want me to play, um, Feel free to put that in the comments, um, at least so I can get an idea of, uh, you know, a nice line of a game. So maybe I'll, you know, I'll do Let's Play, maybe I'll do reviews, you know, stuff I, I know stuff on. And, um, you know, I can even look stuff up on some games I know about, but I don't know a whole lot about. But we'll see. Um, any, anything, anything can happen, that's for sure. So the next lot of games here are all the games I got when I was at Fallout, or Flashback Games. So first off. Congo Bongo. And this is for the uh, Commodore 64. Don't really have hardly any games for the Commodore 64, especially the cartridge. Um, I got some floppies, but no cartridges uh, that I can think of, so this was cool to get. Next off, we're going to Nintendo. We got Sky Kid. Dungeon Magic. Rollerball. Now we're getting into my uh, lot of games I bought that are all unlicensed. Um, I do need to kind of spruce up my unlicensed games. I don't have a ton of them. I um, mean, yeah, I've got a lot of Tengen games, um, you know, because those are fairly common. Um, but here we go. We got the dudes. With attitudes. If you look carefully, I don't know if it's a sun with an eye patch or a tomato. 
don't know what's going on in that game. Kind of scared to play it. We got Bible Adventures. I never owned this game. It's one of the few non-licensed games I used to see around the stores back when it was new. And I just didn't want to play a Bible game back then. Next, more Wisdom Tree. Spiritual Warfare. And we have more Wisdom Tree. King of Kings, the early years. Now, I did see they had a copy of just the original King of Kings. I do need that. Um, between all the stuff I got, I think I spent enough. Um, but I'm probably going to go back and pick that up. Save me some, because uh, I usually pick some up every single time I'm there. And I usually find really great stuff, as you can see so far. Um, you know, a stack of Wisdom Tree games and just dudes with attitudes. But... Alright, that leaves us the last three amazing finds of the day. Um, remember, I did bring in trade, so I think my trade credit amounted to, geez, it was like, it was over $300. Um, I'm about out of stuff to trade. So, but the games that I saw, I knew that they were there. At the, well, I was hoping they'd still be there. I saw them there last time. One of them was kind of hidden in the back. I was pretty sure no one was going to see that one. But that's the last one, so we'll save that one. But first off, this is the one I did pay for cash, um, because I plan on spending cash anyways. Um, this, this has been sitting on their shelf probably the last five times I've been into the store, so. We got Operation Secret Storm with the confused looking Saddam Hussein. I have no clue what kind of game this is. I've never popped it in. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming maybe it's a strategy. Don't know. And here's another high value game. It's a I never played it, so I'm going to assume it's good because everything else Taito has put out uh, with you know really good decent games. And this is again this is one of the uh, games that was put out towards the end of the lifespan of the system. Uh, we got Jetsons, and this was a game that was picked up with my store credit. So that was really cool to get. Um, game I needed for my collection. Um, I didn't have to pay anything for it. I used all that all that extra stuff that I had. I brought in, took care of it, so that was awesome. And last but not least, this was the best find of the day. This is something I had been looking for, and I was refusing to pay eBay prices for this. Um, it's not common at all. Um, so, here we go. We got Chippendale 2, Rescue Rangers. This is complete in box. So I'm going to take this out real fast and kind of see. Get it better. Pull it out here. You can see what I got going. There it is. Here's the booklet. And the cartridge. As you can tell, it's in really good shape. It's taken care of very well. Probably wasn't played a whole lot, I don't imagine. The box is in okay shape. It's seen better days. You know, the front looks good, and the sides are, you know, a little messed up. But overall, the game's in you know, pretty, pretty good condition. Um, got a really good deal for it. Um, obviously, with the trade, you know, but beyond that, um, you see the price, it's really lightly, light, lightly printed on there. It says $234.99, so I used $234.99 on my trade credit to pay for that. But before I had gone in, I looked it up on video game price charting as for uh, under complete for Chippendale 2, and it brought up $450, so... I don't know if they just didn't update the price or what, um, but at that price, being worth that much, uh, I had to pull the trigger on this and get it um, before it goes up in price. It's it's a Capcom Disney game. A majority of those are awesome, amazing games. Uh, I already have DuckTales 2, 
Uh, again, I got that. I got DuckTales 2 for, it ended up being like 60 bucks uh, with a whole bundle of stuff I talked the guy down to, but I got that before I started these YouTube videos, so I wasn't able to really kind of show you that. But, yeah. Um, so, really happy to get this. This is a great addition to my collection. Um, I think I've got all the big Capcom Disney games out of the way. I need a couple more, and I'll have them all. Um, unless there's another one out there that I, I just I don't I can't think of at the moment. But uh, I know I need Little Mermaid, and I need Darkwing Duck. So when I get those, I think that's every Disney Capcom game. So. But, so that's my finds. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the little bit of hunting I put at the beginning of it to kind of show you a bit of the store. Um, hopefully soon, uh, um, I'm going to get together with the Retro Remix Nation and we're going to go do game hunting style, kind of like the Game Chasers. Uh, we have a lot of places here in Arizona that we can go check. We can go search. We got Flagstaff. We got Phoenix. I don't think we've ever gone to Tucson, so maybe we Hey, sorry guys, uh, looks like I lost uh, some video right at the very end. I uh, didn't even realize it happened until I was editing it. So, here, this is just to finish up what I was talking about. Um, we have a lot, of, a lot of good game chasing here in uh, you know, Prescott, Phoenix, Blackstaff, Tucson. We have a lot of that good stuff that we can do. So, definitely want to do that. Um, as far as that is, this is where it was supposed to end. So, it's going to end now. Game on.